what's going on guys? Dale Valor here from Modern Valor Dating. Listen, we did a video, it was either last week or the week before, uh, basically about social conditioning and the effects it can have on you. But in that video, we were talking in depth about, you know, from your family, from just all these different perspectives, your friends, things like that. Well, somebody commented on that video and was like, hey, can you do a social conditioning video from the angle of mass media? You know, things like Disney, movies, TV shows, all those pop culture, all those types of things. The social influence that you get from that, how it can be harmful and what you can do about it. So I was like, man, look, that's a great idea for a video. And so I put that together. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the top five ways that you can overcome social conditioning when it comes to mass media. We're going to hop into it right now. Let's get it. Number one, know what you want. See, here's the thing, man. There is nothing wrong with wanting what it is that you want. You know, and if you watch a lot of and consume a lot of social media, uh, a lot of mainstream media, uh, pop culture, things like that, things are going to be reinforced on you as to what would be considered social norms. And if you are outside of those social norms that makes you wrong somehow, or that makes you not socially acceptable in some way or something like that and, and you should be shamed for it. And you know what, here's the deal, man. What you want is what you want for whatever reason why you want it, okay? So if you let those things chip away at that, ultimately what you are doing is you're conforming to the type of man that they think that you should be. Okay, and that, man, that's never good, man. You should always strive to be who you are at the core, the authentic you. But the thing is, you have to know what it is that you want. If you're only going off of the influences that you're getting from social conditioning, is that really what you want? Or is it just what they tell you you should want, right? So really ask yourself, what is it that I'm looking for? You know, and, and, and look, and it comes from all different perspectives. So what I mean by that is you may have one group of individuals who say, this is what you should want. You should want, you know, get married. You should want to have a family, you know, have the perfect, you know, American dream type of uh, scenario going on for yourself. And that's what you should want. Well, then you have another group that says, no, man, you should go out here and try to bang as many chicks as you possibly can, no matter what, you know, by any means necessary, go out there and do it. And so here's the deal. There's nothing wrong with either one of those things, in my opinion, as long as you're doing it ethically, but what is it that you want, right? And if you don't know what that is, now you're looking for somebody else to tell you what it is that you should want. All right, we're going to hop into number two. Let's get it. Number two, live in your own reality. All right, see, here's the deal. This is kind of an extension of the first point. See, once you know what it is that you want, now you can go out there and try to get that thing. People are going to respect you so much more if you're authentic, if you're genuine, you know what you want, and you're taking the time and putting in the effort and the energy to go out there and get it. You know, they may not agree, Okay, they may not agree with what it is that you want to do, but they'll be forced to have to respect it because very, very few individuals really actually go after what it is that they want. People just don't do that, particularly men, you know? And you see the ones that do, you see the successes that are out there. And there's people who fail too, don't get me wrong. There's always risk involved. But the thing is, is that say for instance, you want to start a business, right? You know that's what you want. You want to start this business. Your family is telling you you shouldn't do it. Mainstream media is like, no, man, go to college. You know, you got to go out here and get that college degree and get that $100,000 of debt, you know? You have all these mainstream and non-mainstream influence on you saying, no, man, don't do that because that's not the safe route. But are you ultimately going to be happy with doing what it is that they're telling you to do? Or would you be happier going out, starting that business? Maybe it fails, maybe it succeeds. Don't really know. But the thing is, is at least you did it and you could say that you did it and nobody can take that away from you and you did it on your terms, all right? So go out there, man, and 
shape your own reality, if it flies in the face of mainstream media and influences and all that kind of stuff, so be it. Because at the end of the day, it's your life. You got one go around, man. And if you don't take advantage of the time, are you willing to be on your deathbed one day saying shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? So, all right, we're gonna get to number three. Let's go. Hey guys, wanted to take this quick time out just to remind you, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. You are doing yourself a favor by making sure that you see all the content that we drop three times a week. Because look, if a situation arises, man, where you didn't have certain information, it's going to cost you. And why put yourself through that, right? So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you drop a comment, man. We always read the comments. We always respond to them. If you have a video idea, whatever the case might be, we want to hear from you, all right? Make sure that you share it with somebody that you know needs to see this content because I know that you know guys who need to see what we're doing here. So check this out too, guys. We just dropped a brand new virtual program called the Modern Valor Dating Crash Course. And what we're doing there is giving you almost everything you need, man, for, for free. It's 100% free. All you have to do is go to transformyourdatinglife.com. There's over 30 videos there, a boot camp that we shot, you know, just giving you all the information so as that you can focus on inner game, outer game, calibration, approach anxiety, opening, building comfort and rapport, closing the deal, man. Also, the last Saturday in June, we're going to be doing our live Zoom event like we do the last Saturday of every month. We're going to have it linked up here. All you have to do is go register and show up. It's 100% free. We're going to be talking about shaking off the rust. See, here's the deal. We're coming out of COVID. Things are opening up. The world's starting to kind of transform back into what it used to be. Even if your area, wherever you live in the world, isn't opened up yet, it will be before too long. So why not get back on the horse, man? Get back in the game. You know, instead of sitting on the sidelines, we're going to show you how to reinvent yourself, how to transform your situation, how to get back out there and get out there and crush it. Number three, it's not reality. See, in the last point, we talked about shaping your own reality, all right? But if you take the influences that you're getting from mass media, movie production companies, whatever, whatever the case might be, if you're looking at that as a template to say, you know what, that's what my life should look like. That's what my life should be like. Logically, you have to know that it's a story. It was written by a writer, and then it was acted by actors and directed by directors. They make stories to be compelling because they gotta sell you a story. They gotta sell you a dream. They gotta sell you something to hook you in. If they went around and just did you know movies just about every random everyday stuff who would care because that's what everybody does but if they're able to sell you a, a story about how a nerdy guy is getting picked on at high school and you know uh goes to college and he's still this nerdy dude and you know it's just super awkward and goofy but the girls find him lovable because of he's just him and you know doesn't matter and and he just goes out here and, and starts killing it and all the women are into him like that's going to be more entertaining than all right here's this nerdy guy goes to college and is still a nerdy guy he graduates and gets a good job like who cares right so they have to have some kind of something interesting there that doesn't happen in the norm because you've already you know, if you're that nerdy guy, you've already lived that story. And if you are that nerdy guy, it's a good thing that you're here right now listening to what I have to say and continue to watch these videos because it's going to be transformational for you. Okay. And you know what? Here's the deal. Like I, saw, like I said before, this whole video was spawned from a comment that somebody dropped me. So what I want you to do is in the comments, if you can drop, what is your pick of the movie 
or TV show or something like that, that when you watch the romantic, the romantic entanglement that's going on, it just drives you crazy because it's so far from reality. Okay, I would love to know what that is. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to get number four. Let's get it. Number four, set boundaries. See, here's the deal. You watch these movies and oftentimes it's kind of like, okay, the girl can kind of do whatever she wants. And the guy is some kind of schlub, uh, goofy kind of guy. Like, you know, it's a trope that's like in a million sitcoms. I mean, like, look at the Simpsons, look at Family Guy, South Park with Randy. You have this arguably attractive woman who just runs rough shot and the guy just kind of takes it and he's goofy and always messes everything up. It's such a common trope. But what is the one thing in common with those individuals? They never have boundaries. They never say, this is unacceptable, this ain't happening. And if they by chance do that and they're assertive and they stand up for themselves, they're proven to be wrong or they're made to look like a jerk or something like that. So here's the bottom line, man. If, you, if there's one takeaway that I can give you from this video that I think is more important than any other, it's this. Be willing to have boundaries. Be willing to say no. Just understand, in order to get the girl, you have to risk losing the girl, okay? You have to be able to show who you are, the things that are important to you, and be assertive about it. It can't be a yes, dear situation. Okay, and look, I'm a victim of this too, okay? Because when I was coming up, none of my influences in my life were out here lady killers, okay? Uh, my friends weren't like that. Uh, I grew up in a pretty sheltered home. Basically, my main influences when it came to romance or dating or girls or anything like that is what I would watch on TV. My takeaway from that when I started trying to get out here and date and things like that was I had to be as nice as pie. I had to be super complimentary. I had to bend over backwards to make sure that, you know, she knows that she's this angel that landed from heaven and bestowed her beauty upon me. And I should be lucky to have a scrap of her time, you know? And so that's the thing, man. It's like, if you take that stance, understand that it's not going to work. All it is is a fantasy world that is not reality. So make sure you set healthy boundaries and you're willing to enforce them. All right, we're gonna get number five. Let's get it. Number five, attraction is to media what action movies are to real life. All right, this is kind of an extension of the last point a little bit, but it's like this, man. You look at these movies that come out, these TV shows, whatever's on Netflix, you know, whatever you watch on YouTube about dating from a mainstream perspective. None of that stuff is real, man. It, it, it's all contrived. It's all following a narrative that is to not upset, you know, our PC culture. Okay. And if you follow that, all you're serving to do is to be milk toast, to be bland, to be just a blah human being. Okay. And so look, it's a fantasy world. It's so not reality. It's like walking down the street. Like you see, I'm outside here and I'm waiting for, okay, this is a, this is actually a police station right here. Right. So I'm waiting for a van to pull up with like a bunch of dudes in it and they're gonna like spring some guy from jail, right? Like it's not gonna happen, man. You know what I mean? And even if, even if some weird off chance, something kind of like that happened, it would be shut down so fast that it, it's not like movie worthy. You know what I mean? And cops are gonna be all over the place and it's, you know, it's not gonna end well. So that's what I'm saying, man. Just recognize that none of what you're seeing is something tangible that you can hold on to, that you can take with you and say, this is how I need to act. This is how I need to be to get attractive women into my life. It's actually the adverse of that. It's never gonna work, man. It's just not gonna work. So here's the deal. We shot a video, like I said at the beginning of this video, we shot a video about social conditioning, but it was more from a, uh, um, a family sense, friends, things like that, where we go really deep on quite a few different perspectives and how you can overcome that, how you can get over those, that social conditioning that you've been reinforced with your whole life and how to recognize what is social conditioning and what is it that you actually think. So what I want you to do is go check that video out and I will see you there.